Play a little receiver too. Before I take off. Where was I on this one? Um, for the king. Um, I guess I'll just do this. Anyway. That works. Oh, my stuff. My tapes and everything. Hmm. Now I can't open this? Tapes are down. Safety on this time. Many people believe that the brain is the seat of consciousness, yet important thoughts and feelings are carried out in ganglia, clusters of neurons found throughout the body.
can't believe this place. The timing of the finding this, but just when I needed time to think, I stumble into this cosmic pretzel of that place. I'm typical go here. We got me. Macho, macho. Medicine, no, not me. Macho. Not me. It's good, though. Now I can slowly go nuts trying to figure out the encrypted messages in the dreaming. The doubts about uh, the receivers, the way it all really works. Very fun, crippling doubts eating away at me, just like it did when I was in the training. Who can I trust? Can I trust myself? Until I understand things better, I'm not going back out there. For now, I'm staying here, whatever this place is, and keeping safe. Maybe it's GNR. Inspect chamber, hold T plus R. Ah. Uh -huh. First, I got to hold T.
need another That was bad. Whoops. actually did worse all because this I need the flashlight because the guy starts to get shaky after a while I'm sure you don't want to do on that one. So only when you're holding shift Oh God, it's the best.
getting this far. Listen, listen. After a while, I started to notice a strange pattern. Sometimes near the end of the class, I would see a person or two look up as they heard a noise that seemed kind of weird. But my hearing isn't that great anymore so after so much time around gunfire and explosions. I had also started grabbing some coffee after class with another member, Amy. We were just friends hanging out, but things seemed to be going well. One day going downward dog. One day doing downward dog, I noticed her do the thing, like she heard a sound, a coffee afterward. I asked her about it and she clammed up right away. I pressed her a little bit and she blurted out, you have to stop watching TV. After that, there was always some reason she was a bit too busy to go for coffee. Okay. After World War II, a military study concluded that only a quarter of American soldiers were willing to line up their sights on a human target. Now, to combat this problem, the army found ways to dampen our natural aversion to killing one another. They replaced bullseye targets with human silhouettes, uh, made training conditions more similar to actual combat, and trained recruits to avoid taking personal responsibility for killing. You know, after enough training, you can eventually learn to stop seeing people at all and just see silhouette targets everywhere, even in the mirror. this uh, notes 
five months after I started, I finally heard the tone. I was holding a plank, looking straight down at the grass, sweat dripping from my nose when I heard it. It sounded so weird. I looked up and there was Amy looking right at me at the other side of the circle, smiling. <laughs> One of the instructors, instructors, Lawrence, came up after class. He told me that he thought I would benefit from practicing at home and he gave me a cassette tape. I had no idea what I was getting into, but I also knew that this is exactly what I had been waiting for. The first tape explained that the tone meant I had taped into a deeper level of concentration. It was a, a natural result of some autonomic response. The recording said not to mention the sound to anybody because they didn't want to make them feel left out. I didn't believe a word of it. That tape also introduced some new ideas about how the media was making people sick. I was skeptical, of course, but I also had to admit that going to class, cutting down TV, and internet time had made me feel better than I had in years. Thirty-seven. <laughs> You're never alive.
If you run out of ammo, you can no longer defend yourself against kill drones. However, they are predictable, and with enough focus, you can get past them without using your firearm at all. The threat will not need to kill the us. The threat can get us to shoot the threat. Target. Now, instances of misidentification are common in firearm-related accidents, resulting in dead friends and family. This often happens in situations with poor visibility. We are unsure what the post mine kill environment will be like, so it's critical to positively identify or, or PID your targets. This is why you need to keep a flashlight available. Now imagine this scenario. You're woken up by a crash in the night and you take out your gun to investigate. You see a shadowy figure lurching towards you. You open fire and it's down on the ground. You're a hero. You defended your house. You're a hero. Or did you? For all you know, it was a family member stumbling around in the dark. Or your neighbor got drunk and thought your house was his. Or, you know, a police officer read the address wrong on a warrant. In the dark, a gun without a flashlight is worse than useless. A recipe for tragedy. You hear it? We need to get a gun. Good. Easy. Easy, guys. They're on line. You can't. I mean, aside from there's no multiplayer in this, you're also not a receiver. See what you did? 
You distracted me. You gotta take this game serious. Game is no joke. Remember something about the birds they said. Unless that's on a different floor. Here, Mitch. I like that name. Right up my mongoose broadcast. See? They know about podcast. Reach you loud and clear. Seems my crazy plan works. Let's keep this thing going. Mangoes. Let's take an elevator. Finally. Smith and Wesson kept iterating on their revolver design in response to increasing demands from military and police around the world, and combined all of that feedback in uh, 1899 into their 10th model. Uh, the creatively named Smith and Wesson Military and Police Revolver. Well, since uh, body shaming had not yet been invented, they sold it in all sorts of shapes, um, with rounded or square butts, with barrels ranging from 2 to 6.5 inches in length. The main innovation of the Model 10 was combining the swing out cylinder pin with the hand adjustable rod, making it much more reliable than previous attempts at this design. This was the first revolver that combined a fast reloading, reliability, and accuracy, and sold accordingly. It is arguably the best selling handgun of all time. Now, after they added the hammer block in 1915, the design is widely considered to be perfect. In the following hundred years, there have been no significant improvements on this design. Yeah. 
I'm telling you, don't, nobody plays Anna. I mean, you are right on one thing. It is pretty much everywhere. Everywhere in the trash, you know. Everywhere where you would just throw trash around, you know. So you got that right. It is everywhere. I don't think it's up. Uh... Okay, no, this is the way I gotta go. I, I do gotta go this one. I know, I mean, I know, I know MC is loose, but you cannot say that Junk Anna was loose. It's not, it's not. But I'm glad to hear that you're saying that MC is not trash. Bad.
Do you see that? Do you see that? Beast mode. have seen the signs around you. The gradual My will not decay wait. and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a, a receiver. receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self the media is a threat we have a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique you must listen to them to advance. You hear that? You have to. You have to listen to them. Dear Maggie, allow me to make a philosophical whatever something point. Not quite as spectacular as the mongoose transcripts, but useful nonetheless. To progress, uh, to ascend, to learn, we must collect tapes. This is self-evident, but to achieve the goal, we have to maintain focus. Do we have to disable every turret? Do we have to down every... any? Do we have to down... any drone? Take care of every seeing turret? Not at all. Frequently, our enemies are nothing more than distractions. If we can avoid them, yet progress deeper into the dreaming, then that is almost always the preferred option, unless they stand between you and a new tape. But even then, there will be other tapes. Keep focus, ignore everything that doesn't get us closer to our goal. Mitch. Heard a tape. Let's see, here's something else. the bed. Bitch is something about, you know, you, you not being online. When 
explorers die of dehydration, their water bottles are usually not empty. They were saving their resources for later, when it got really bad. When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually turns out that they never asked their family or, or friends for help. They were saving that for later, when it got really bad. If you are under attack by the threat, ask for help now. There is no later. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. But how do I get up there? I don't trust going that way. You seen all this beast mode? I don't know. I don't know if this is on VR or not. It does look like it could be. I went down I'm looking to get up. All right, so I probably got to go. Could be bad. This 
doesn't make much sense. Like, while I know this isn't the same room as before, it still feels familiar. It's more like a fictional place than the real world. It's oh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. Oh, I almost ran off. When performing at a peak condition, often the deciding factor is mental state. Ideas have a thing. That's it. I think that's all five. When you become dedicated to an idea, it takes on a new dimension. It becomes denser, tougher to move, intractable. This tenacious Music. stubbornness is required to become a receiver. A receiver. An analyst, not even close to being better. You're crazy. Every few weeks, I would get a new tape. My questions started to grow. I listened to them on the bus. The tapes are pretty short. Or swapping them out became a ritual. It made me wish I was still wore a chess rig, but I made do with my backpack. At work, the guys would give me a hard time about it. They would say, did you see the news? Magnetic tapes cause cancer. They're going to ban them. I had learned from the new tapes that people like us were called receivers. Eam and I have started spending more time together again. She had her own tape decks and tapes and was way further along than I was. She had been spending time at a place the group owned called the rec center. Something about her had changed. She was holding something back and I knew the answer was on her tapes. So there's something weird happening time. So there's something weird happening to time. Huh? Ever since I woke up after a mind kill, I have felt increasingly disengaged from any notion of time and space. I don't know how long I have been here or how long I have been fighting. I seem to be alive and I can make progress by studying the tapes and get closer to the truth. I guess that's what I should do. I didn't mean the quick compound. I hope it lets me go back to that date. Yeah. Uh, where is it? I thought there was like a spot for just the uh, tapes.
In a disordered mind, fear and doubt... That sucks, I can only go into that far. I don't know if that's safety on. Now we're locked and loaded. Okay, that is safety. I don't know once you actually put it in your how do you maybe keep from firing maybe you gotta hold F as you pull out because yeah that does that so yeah if you hold F okay so I guess I gotta hold it If I next time I do that, or I get away from my guy to heal, one of the two. Yeah, I probably should have did more of this game than the other games. I should have went to this one instead of the space one, maybe. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. Oh, you can't even see all that stuff. All right. Well, as always, you know, junk cash is never online. He's weak. <sighs> And Harvey Dent, can we trust him? The Almighty Bongolio! My bunghole will not wait! Oh my, I can't you got it. If they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any fucking Merlot! Okay, okay, <laughs> relax, Miles. Jesus, no Merlot. Did you remember Xanax?
understand your frustration. Stay in shape. 